At the top of the president's list of potential nominees to the high court are two Catholic women, District Judges Amy Coney Barrett and Barbara Lagoa. Their Catholic beliefs have come under fire by some in the media and lawmakers are reacting. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Amy Coney Barrett has been at the top of President Trump's list of potential Supreme Court nominees, but some of her critics say that her traditional strong Catholic beliefs don't belong on the high court. Now, Republican Senator Ben Sass of Nebraska is defending her against anti-Catholic bigotry. And so what we see happening here is just a disgusting set of anti-Catholic smears, and we've seen them run this play before. Senator Ben Sass tells me Democrats should have moved past this line of criticism. It is so terribly un-American to attack people based on their religious beliefs. I, I honestly can't understand what they're doing, but it, it, if you want to argue with somebody's judicial philosophy, then argue about their judicial philosophy. Don't attack their religious commitments. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer pledges to resist President Trump's nomination. We're going to fight every step of the way. The stakes of this election, the stakes of this vacancy, concern no less than the future fundamental rights of the American people. Any Trump nominee must want to strike down Roe v. Wade. Today in the House, Democratic leaders launched a proposal to, in their words, prevent presidential abuses. But House Judiciary Committee Chairman Adam Schiff admitted the wide-ranging package of new and revised bills will have no effect on a timeline to confirm the next U.S. Supreme Court justice. That will be something that the Senate will have to remedy uh, and is beyond the purview of this package. And back in the Senate, Republicans are looking forward to the confirmation process. I have high confidence that the American people are going to be favorably impressed by a faithful constitutionalist nominee, and they'll be proud of the person who becomes the next associate uh, justice on the Supreme Court of the United States. President Trump is expected to make his announcement on Saturday. His advisors say that the president's decision will also be based on whether or not the candidate can handle what is expected to be a fiery confirmation hearing. We'll have to see if faith will play a role in it. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.